What is up guys, welcome to Express. My name is Steven. I'm gonna be showing you how to actually link your Google Analytics into your website. In our case, we're gonna be using WordPress. Now WordPress is actually working into my Pantheon.io. Pantheon.io is an amazing place to create your actual stuff totally for free and you can have WordPress with all the plugins and you don't have to pay absolutely for anything. That's the reason why we use Pantheon. With that being said, I'm gonna look into my credentials of Google Analytics and the actual Pantheon of my account. So let's go and get started. So once I'm here into the Pantheon, what I just did is to create an actual new site and I wanted to have this new site based on my actual WordPress. That's the reason why we choose the first option. And since enterprise level, I'm going to go into loading my dashboard. And lastly, what I just need to do is to name my actual site. In our case, let's go for the Sex Express support like this. I'm going to copy this uh, Pantheon sex. We're going to be using this later. I'm going to choose United States and choose to continue. With that being said, I just needed to wait till this actual development mode has been enabled. And then we can go back into our site and we can go directly into our WordPress account. All right, so as you can see now, I'm in here into my actual dashboard of WordPress. So what I want to do now is to actually go back into my actual Google Analytics. And here, as you can see, already, I'm signed in into my actual Gmail account. So this is the first time I'm already in here into analytics.google.com. So this is the very first time we wanted to get started with an actual account creation. So here, what I want to do is to type my support of TechPress. And then I'm going to scroll all the way down. I want to enable the Google production and service. You want to enable the technical support, hit into next. And then it's going to be asking to create an actual property. So this actual property name, let's go for support. I have the reporting times from the United States. The currency might be, of course, it must be US dollar. And after that, I'm going to hit into next. And now we have the actual business details. I want to enable the industry. And here I want to go with the actual art and entertainment and the business size, I'm going to go with something small. I'm going to hit now into next. And now it's going to be asking for the business objectives. So what I want to do now is to, in my case, I want to generate some leads and get some baseline reports. That's really depending on what you're actually trying to look for. I'm going to hit now into create and the data collection should be now being created automatically. So I just need to sign into the actual terms of service equipment. So I'm going to scroll all my way down, hit into I also accept. I accept once again, and there we go. Now, what I want to do is to make the actual integration between the WordPress and the Google Analytics once we have created an account into Analytics. So what I want to do is to choose a website platform and I have the measuring, the website URL, the stream name and the grid stream. So here, what I want to do is to type WordPress and this website URL, I'm going to go here into my actual WordPress and here, this is actually my account my website that I have just created. So I'm going to go back here, I'm going to paste this URL. And then later on, I can create an actual stream. Now in my case, I want to delete this part and I want to try triple W, hit into create my stream. Now later on, it's going to be starting to collect. So what I need to do is to make the actual installation of the web stream details. So as you can see, I need to install the Google tag. So I need to install this manually, install with a website builder or CMS. So what I need to do is to choose the SiteKit plugin of my WordPress. So this one is going to be sending me into the actual instructions. So it's going to be really, really easy. What I need to do is to actually look out for the SiteKit by Google. So what I'm going to do is scroll all the way up. Let's go back into WordPress and here focus into your actual plugins. Here into plugins, let's focus into add new. And here into add new, let's go for G. And here, what we need to do, of course, is to install the actual Google G site. If you don't see that here, what you want to do is to just type Google and automatically it's going to be appearing here, G site. As you can see here is site kit by Google. So I could go for install now. And after we make the installation, we need to activate it. So we're hitting to activate. And then later on, I need to set it up this one. So go for start set up really, really easy process. So you need to have an actual tab with the analytics already been opened. So you don't have to worry about that. And then later on, we just need to wait a couple of seconds, focused into G side kit, downloaded from the dashboard. And here I want to enable the connect Google analytics as part of your setup. I enable this one, sign in with Google. And then later on, what we need to do now is just to choose an account. In our case, we want to choose the very first one since we already signed it in with that one. I'm going to go back. 
I want to grant the access of this GM123456 services. I think it's great. Hit now into continue. And there we go. Now, as you can see, I do have the um, access here. It says missing parameter code. So you don't have to worry about that because we are now inside the actual G site. So if you go back here into your, I'm going to go and reload my page once again. I'm going to hit now into continue, reload your page, and then later on, you're going to be in inside the G site kit. So we don't have an error code here. It says redo the plugin setup. So we're going to go for it, redo the plugin setup. I choose this option. I go into connect. And then I need to open my actual Gmail just to make sure that everything has not been uh, successfully done. So here it is, what's granted access to your Google account. And then later on, what I need to do, of course, is to delete all of this. And just to make sure that this one has been scanned, uh, my account should be now already been created. So in my case, I'm going to go with triple W, hit into scan, and just make sure that the installation instruction of the website platform has now been added uh, successfully. Now, as you can see, we have Google Verify site ownership. So we want to make sure that we own this actual support website. So let's go for Verify. There we go. And then later on, I'm going to close this for a second here. The G site kept missing here. And I have the turn on metrics into dashboard. So you want to allow this one. We can access the actual data. And we need to set up a search console. So we go for set up. And we need to connect it to our site kit, of course. And then later on, we just need to hit into next. So with that being said, now it's going to be appearing to the actual site kit by Google in our account should be now granted the access of the actual Google Analytics. It says connect service analytics. So as you can see, you have the account, the property, the web date is streamed and an access university property will also be created. So what you want to do is to go with configure analytics. I proceed to add additional permission required. And I'm going to leave this like that because this automatically should be making the access. I choose my account of Gmail, of course. And once again, I need to grant the access once more to the site kit to make this work with the actual Google Analytics. So once again, just wait a few seconds here and the connection service of the analytics should be added automatically. So I can go back here. I have the installation instructions. I want to get into the X mark. I hit into the X mark once again. I reload the page and I have now the migrating from Universal Analytics. Let's go for no, skip for now. And I'm going to head now into the account that I have just created. So I'm going to go into exit. And here I'm going to type for the all accounts. And as you can see, here is the support attack express. And this is the property that we have just created all side, uh, all website data. And both of them have the actual enable section. I'm going to hit now into open. I have the administrator support. I have the users, I have the customization, and there we go. So I have now all the home section, I have the customization, the real time, the audience, the acquisitions, the behaviors, conversions, everything should now be imported right away. So this is how we can get started with the actual Google Analytics section. I'm gonna go back here into my WordPress. Congratulations, as you can see, it says, okay, I got it. And there we go. So we have the search control and the analytics gathering the data as we are using WordPress. So with that being said, we have now reached into the very end of the video. As you can see, it works inside WordPress and into the analytics. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, guys, if you want to see more amazing tools about this actual great place, uh, which is the WordPress and the installation of the G-Side kit. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. See you next time.